obviously we're working closely with uh, Cure Leukemia um, since the diagnosis with Carl and we've been working very closely with James and his team in terms of some of the uh, initiatives that the club's been doing but specifically some of the fans have been doing some fantastic fundraising under their own steam and and, and we've supported that and will continue to support that and given the enormous volumes of fundraising that we've had so far. James reached out to us and said, look, come and see the facility that ultimately the fundraising is helping to support. And I thought it only right and appropriate that some of the key sort of individuals that have been involved in that should come in and share this experience. So this is a magnificent tapestry of uh, fundraising efforts, but we wouldn't be where we are without the fantastic work of Q-Leukemia, who not only fund the research nurses, but also putting in a million pounds into the new build. And the driver of much of this, of course, has been Wolves and the Wolves fans responding to the terrible news about Carly Kemi, but of course he's receiving fantastic treatment with every prospect of a good outcome. But the benefit to our region, I think, is that Wolves and so many other people supporting Q Leukemia are going to give us a state-of-the-art centre and fund the research nurses necessary to have access to new treatments and also drive forward treatments in this complex disease with benefits not only in our region but nationally and internationally. When you get here and you see you see what they're doing and also the, the, the scale of the problem which is reducing year on year on year through the huge amounts of work and the project work that they do here but it just really brings it home um, and um, I'm just immensely proud and in many ways not surprised because I just think this is the best football club with the best fans and you know the, 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 the togetherness that we display and we have displayed and will continue to display when we have sort of face adversity like this doesn't really come as a huge surprise but when you are here and you see the level of work that's been done and how we're contributing to that then yeah it, the, the biggest emotion is pride really in what we're doing.